Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my vampy look. Hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm starting off with my NYX white eyeshadow base just to kind of prime and like bring more life out of the eyeshadow colors. Just blending that all in with my finger. So I'm using my Morphe 12 NB palette. I'm using the maroon, like dark burnt maroon color just above my crease so that's more prominent when I put on the rest of the shadow below. So I'm just using my smudge brush I got from eBay to kind of just smudge out that crease and bring it towards near my brow bone. Um, I've got the brushes from eBay. I'm not really sure which solo so I'll see if I can put it in the description bar below. So I'm putting the Duo Eyelash Glue on my eyelid um, just below where I put the crease shadow before so that it just stays on properly, I suppose. Okay, so just after it's dried a little bit, I'm putting some of that um, tan glitter on my eyelid, and it's more precise because I put the glue just kind of like right where the crease ends, um, right where my natural crease ends, so that kind of just blends together when I open my eyes. So for my smoke enhancement, I am just drawing a bit of lines where the glitter and the crease, my natural crease, um, go and I'm just following that with my smudge brush, kind of just smudge it out and smoke it out and I'm going to add a little bit more colour later. taking this deep purple color and just placing it just at the end of my eye and just in between the creases just kind of put more definition. Just tight lining um, just to kind of cover up the nakedness of my under eye so that when I place my lashes it's not visible. So I'm putting on my Insta Blur primer from Body Shop. This primer is alive. This primer does things to me. I just love it so much. And I've got to take off my tape off my eye and I forgot to taper as well. So it kind of hurt when I pulled it off. But this primer is everything. It kind of like makes my skin look dusty, but it just, it's just great because it doesn't dry out my skin and also it doesn't add extra oils or sheens, nor does it shine throughout the day. So it's like perfect matte. So anybody with oily skin, I would definitely, definitely recommend this um, primer. So 
So I always conceal my face before I put foundation on just under like where I have like darkness around. I should probably start colour correcting but I haven't figured that out yet. I'm loving concealing so it's fine for me, it works. I'm using my new By Nature buffing brush to put my foundation on. I just dab it on, I just kind of buff it in and around my face so that it just doesn't streak and it just sits well and stays put. Here I am trying to snatch my nose um, using my eBay contour cream palette. It's just, just a regular cream palette, nothing, nothing special. Taken off my powder and I'm just gonna go over my contour with my Carbon D palette and then I'm gonna go and uh, highlight using my Australis bronzing palette. This palette is everything, I love it. It's very subtle, but it's beautiful. I'm just lining my lips with this BYS purple lip liner just to kind of get a precise sharper edge um, to the lipstick and I'm using the Coloured Rain um, in Tootsie because it's so bomb, like this colour is everything, love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and also do not forget to subscribe on the way out.